Lucas Perry, Flint, Michigan, all day. You know, Flintstone TV. First question I got for you: What's your expectations for the season? Um, you know, we we always look into the expectations of to win the Big Ten title and to eventually win the national Championship title. So. You know, we're, we're, we're hoping for uh, a good season. You know, we're going to see how it plays out. We're starting practice soon. Yeah. We're going to go from there. It's like you got a slimmer guy, you know, fitter over this summer. I know you've been working hard. What's some of the things you've been doing you know, to continue to grow and get better? Um, you know, doing extra uh, cardio, you know, either it's, uh, you know, doing basketball drills. You know, I've been working out with um, Jason Richardson and the team over the summer and teaching me some stuff and just playing pickup with them. And, uh, it's, it's been uh, a, good, a good teaching experience for me and uh, learning new stuff. Hopefully it's translates on the court. We talked this summer, you know, you was telling me about playing with LeBron James, you know, Skills Academy and things like that, because you're gonna be wearing a point guard this year. What type of you know, how did that what type of things did that teach you, you know, doing up, you know, at the camp and things like that? Um just learning new stuff from um, LeBron's a great teacher and a great player one of the you know, I think he is probably the best player in the NBA right now. And, uh, you know, just, just going and uh, just having an open mind and just uh, learning new things from him and just uh, making sure it's translating into my game again. Uh, during game time situations. How do you feel like you're growing, you know, from Arizona, you know, the transfer into here? You know, how you feel like you've grown as a person, you know, after all your stuff? Um, you know, I think I've matured each year, you know. Uh, I think it, it's taken me uh, a little time getting used to the system, getting used to um, um, new players, and I think, you know, our chemistry last year was uh, one that can be matched by another team, but um, I can see really how it translates into the game. And, you know, we're just looking to capitalize on that. But uh, this is, you know, leadership, you know, we need to have some of team chemistry. And we're, we're, we're the hunters, you know, we just got to go out there and get it. So you, you, you're kind of the cornerstone now, you know, since Grady left, you know, being in the point guard position, the backcourt position. You know, how do you feel like you going to live up to those expectations? I asked you that earlier, but you feel like you're ready for that, you know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a big step, you know? Um, you know, I, I think I, I definitely have a lot of pressure, you know. So, uh, you know, it, it's, it's going to be a, a, team, a team thing, and we're going to have to come together as a team, as a unit, and, you know, fight, fight through the season. A lot of people don't know your sister, you know, was a beast back in the day. <laughs> yeah, you feel was. like you're going to be better than her? <laughs> um, you know, she always said she always had the better jumper than me, but I think, I think I'm going to get her this year. You know, she, she's a, she, again, she, she tells me new things, she's a great teacher. And like my dad, you know, they've always been there to support me. So you got to continue to put Flynn on the map. Good luck this season. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I'm here with Swift TV. Yeah. Yeah. TV show. I'm here with Swift 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 TV no but he ended, yeah, but he ended up <laughs> killing him. I mean, I don't know why. I don't know why they came up with it, but that was, that was like, I ended up with. Back in the day, I heard a lot of people say you were smaller and you just all of a sudden grew and just started running through training. How, you know, how did that feel to you know, grow and just be the man? Yeah, um, coming up, I was always like, you know, I just, I'm like a little bit what I still do, just kind of wheel things, you know, kind of just had heart, but I was always like probably just the smallest one out of everybody. One summer, I just, I just grew up, like as far as um, getting taller, I just shot up, so it helped me a lot. You feel like it was your toughest competition? I'm from Flint, by the way. Uh, you feel like it was your toughest competition coming into the game? Yeah, you do. A few more, more minutes, folks. A few more minutes. Um, well, public school, PSL, it was everybody. Every game, you're going to have somebody going to try to go at your head. So I, I kind of say every, almost everybody. Almost everybody. They all, they ain't like, they just going to be like, all right, really, um, doesn't matter. Manny or whatever, so I'm going to let you do this. They all kind of challenge you every night. Coming up, why, why do you think you decided to come to you know, Michigan and try to build this up instead of, you know, everybody else going to stay? That's like the tradition, you know, it was going to Final Fours and stuff like that. Why do you think you wanted to come to Michigan? Was it because you wanted to make your own name? So, that part of the want to do stuff like that. I think you can go to a, 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 a championship team or a team that's already established. It's harder to go there and try to establish it. So, that's what I kind of was thinking about. Like, 
you know, going on. Yeah. I've seen you know, plus I was talking to John and stuff like that. So I really, like, I just I dream, could talk to him all he wants. I'll dream about the whole time. The dream's pretty much come through. You need that national championship. Right. Well, no, one of the one of the goals came through. You know, uh, everybody dreams to have a national championship. I'm in Big Ten, so I'm still dreaming. <laughs> Well, yeah, they came. They came back. When they came up here. Um, we talked and stuff like that. But we don't um, keep in touch like that. We, we see each other or whatever. Still, like you know, they talk smart. He's got a very good mid-range game. He's got a big coach. Same thing. Uh, 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 Helping. Do you see a lot of other expectations this year? You know, you appreciate all the Americans. How are you just staying grounded and, you know, focused? Because you guys haven't really come and been in this position, you know, since you've been. How are you focused on the news? I don't really honestly look at none of that stuff, so I know that I'm still a long way to where I want to be. But it's much easier to go for what you want, basically. I'm just hungry and just want to win. I don't work with so many people, so I don't pay attention to nothing else. So what can we expect from many years this year? What are we getting that we didn't get last year? You're trying to make us look bad. You got to watch this team this year. You tell me, but I know we're going to work as hard as we can as a team and try to get through the wins. People still don't even know. Yeah. Well, there you have it. My first episode of Flintstone TV with Eric Wigyar down at the University of Michigan in the Chrysler Arena. You know, we just had a good conversation with my man Manny Harris. You know, got to ask him a couple questions nobody else really asked him before. And um, I expect a lot of things out of Michigan basketball this year. You know, Michigan State been dominating. I still love Michigan State, but I think Michigan gonna make their mark. I can't wait to see Michigan versus Michigan State this year. That's gonna be a, a really good game. You know. And I got a lot of big things in the work. This is just the first step. My first episode, just continue to watch me. Log on to eric32woodyard.wordpress.com. A lot of things planned. Check everything out. Nice talking to you guys. See you later.